going to America. <laughs> It's been a long time since either of us travelled and we've been having our own adventure creating Big Sky but it's been in one place and it feels totally foreign getting on the move again so I thought we're just gonna pretend like we're young dirtbaggers all over again and sleep on the floor in Heathrow I'll be honest I'm not really looking forward to this <laughs> this might just be our bedroom for the night it isn't bad because the pub is right there Nice bedroom. Yeah, you like it. You like what we've done with the place. How do you feel about sleeping here, Ems? I'm actually really happy. <laughs> Good night then. Good morning. We made it. Rose and shine. Look what I found. Yeah, Rich and Laura must have stuffed them in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. Nobody on this plane, favourite type of plane, is a plane with very few passengers. I'm a genius. You just fixed an aeroplane. Dallas, 
Texas. Customs coming into America is always my least favorite bit, but he got that turned guy, off and got really sweaty. Yeah, my fingers were really sweaty, so the fingerprint <laughs> didn't work. And now we are in Dallas Airport. Pick up our bags to move them to another conveyor belt and then go to another terminal. Yay, Memphis, here we come. hours since we left home the last plane to memphis delayed we're about to board and then when we land our friend tom is supposedly picking us up and taking us to a gig <laughs> so tired so so tired you tired yeah. good night thank you memphis tennessee I think I've been back to Memphis pretty much every year, COVID aside, since I paddled down the river in 2011. And not once have I ever got to get a bus or a taxi. There's always someone who'll come and pick us up. This time around, it's Tom. Hopefully. Hi. Just the buttons and the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat some mushrooms on the way over? <laughs> 30, 32 hours they've been traveling. Oh my goodness, 32 hours. Oh. Did you drive the tractor uh, to the airport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to the shell, they, they're ralliers. I thought you were going, to, yeah, we'll get them horizontal. Say, just say, scoot over. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna take a blanket, a little chair. <laughs> Bubbles in Memphis? Welcome to our next bedroom. Yay! <laughs> You're gonna sleep anywhere, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. I just slept in a metal box, and M is in a van. One thing I really loved about traveling on complete unplanned adventures was that you build up this resilience to believe that even if you wake up in the morning you don't know where you're going to be sleeping that night even if it gets to 6 p.m and you still don't know where you're going to be sleeping you just know it's going to be okay so i've got a rule if somebody who you completely trust and gives off zero red flags says would you like to sleep it doesn't matter what they say after sleep you just say yes and you just end up with a story. Last night, I slept in an old Japanese cargo box and Em is just sleeping in a Westphalia van. Oh, it's 9 a.m. in Memphis. I think the sun's shining outside. When I woke up and looked at my iPhone, it said 9.30 and I thought, oh, healthy sleep. So I spent half an hour walking around here looking at all the cool stuff in Tom's shop. And I realized that it's 9.30 a.m. in England and it's only the middle of the night here, so <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <sighs>